Hey everyone, this is George Cross, and welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Hey everyone, it is George Cross, and happy to be back with you another Monday, try to kick off the week uh, in a positive direction. And uh, what I'm about to do before, after I record this is I get to have the opportunity to take my daughter to dance and I like sitting there and waiting for her and um, I don't always get to do that. And I do appreciate those moments I have. And yesterday I actually went to pick up uh, Kalia and I don't always do this. In fact, I, I rarely do it because of my schedule, because of stuff that I'm actually creating, kind of going through this process. But I did yesterday and it was kind of bittersweet because she was really surprised I was there and I, and she was excited, but I didn't want her to be surprised. I wanted her to be able to, to count on me too. So I've like made this commitment that as much as I can be at home, and this is one of the reasons uh, we moved is because I just feel I get more time with my, my, my family is that I'm going to, you know, go out of my way to make sure I, I, I do things so I can pick her up. So I can be there for those moments and how important that is to me. Uh, Cause I, I, I want her to appreciate it, but I don't want her to be surprised I'm there. And I think that's something that's really important to me. I just want to share that with you uh, before I get into the podcast. And um, I, I want to kind of get you just to think about uh, this analogy. I'm going to talk about like one of my pet peeves, um, something that drives me crazy. And uh, I'm very fitness focused. I, I, I'm really trying to you know take care of my health. I make sure that I have certain goals I do every single day. Uh, Push-ups I do every single day, a uh, number I haven't um, that I focus on. Uh, I do a certain amount of squats, I do sit-ups, and uh, I do other things too, but I, you know, I get steps in, but these are like, I have to do these things. And because I travel so much, uh, we do have a home gym, but I also work out at LA Fitness. And the reason I do that is because um, LA Fitness is everywhere. They, they seem to be anyway. And because I travel so much, it's just easier. I can use my pass to go to LA, any LA Fitness in North America. So it's really helpful. And there's something I noticed about... Um, LA Fitness is uh, across and just kind of how the community is a little bit different in, in each one. And the gym's kind of like always the same. It's one of the reasons I like going is because, you know, they have a basketball court, they got, you know, certain treadmills, they got this thing. And I like that. But there's also something about um, the the kind of the, the culture of the LA Fitness I might go to depending on where I am. And this is my pet peeve is that sometimes when I go to these places, this <laughs> drives me crazy, is when someone actually doesn't put the weights back where they're supposed to go. Like if it says, here are the 30 pound dumbbells and you got a 65 and a 15 there, it drives me crazy. And if you've been to the gym, I don't know if it just bugs me, but it bugs me so much. And, and you kind of actually, when you go to a gym like that and nobody seems to care um, about putting the weights back, you just kind of give up too. You just kind of say, whatever, like, you know what, I'm going to make it harder for the next person to find what they're looking for. And in a place where um, it's not like that, in, in some of the LA Fitness, I've noticed that people are very meticulous about, you know, they're going to grab the weights, they're going to use them, and they're going to put them back in the right spot. But once in a while, somebody doesn't do that. And I, this is where I get a little bit weird. I will like, I'll, if I see it, whether I'm lifting those weights or not, I will go and I will like, pick those weights up and put them back. And sometimes I'll kind of give a little stink. I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, like, like put the weights back, right? Like the, you got them from that one place, you know where they go. It's clearly labeled, put it back. And you know, people got things going on and stuff like that. I try to be empathetic about it, but a lot of times you're like, this person just doesn't care. And, and then it, that becomes part of the culture. And I think the reason that I, it bothers me so much is because you are saying like, hey, I took this, but I do not care about the next person following me and, and what they're going to deal with. And I kind of want you to think about that, that analogy and what, what that means, right? So like, I, I, I can lift a certain amount of weight, but like if someone like takes 100 pound dumbbells and puts them in a different place, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put them back, right? And, and that might be a little bit too heavy for me. But you know, if I did that with the 50 pound dumbbells, that might be heavier for someone else. And so if I had the ability to actually take this out to do the things I need to achieve my goals, then I should also have the ability to put the thing back, to put the stuff back. And I think about this too, is that sometimes um, we take on the responsibility and we do the beginning part, but then we leave the end part and we leave that for somebody else to deal with. 
And I, I kind of think about this in the context of, uh, of schools and things like this, right? Um, I remember this one video I thought was really powerful. They were talking about just kind of having this this opportunity, um, you know, like a principal. You could really kind of tell about a principal, like um, if they see garbage and they walk past it and they pick it up, right? And and it's it's not that they feel that they should be picking up other people's garbage, but they're kind of setting the tone that, hey, like we don't want garbage on the ground because you might, you know, have that food, take it, throw the wrapper there, but somebody else has to clean that up for you. Somebody else has to pick that up. And then when they pick it up, people say like, hey, this person, you know, cares about this culture. I'm going to be more thoughtful of like how I take care of my area. And I think if you, there's a lot of times where I notice when I, and it's something I kind of pick up. I, I, I notice I've seen, you know, administrators like walk by garbage on the ground. And what does that actually do for the culture of the kids? Well, how does that actually look? And so I think for me, this is just such a, like a really kind of simple concept. I think it really matters is that if, 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 are you leaving the responsibility of the thing that you utilize for the next person to fix after you, right? This is not just personal. It's not just professional, right? It's sometimes, you know, in the, the policies of our schools, of our world, things that we see, that if we have the ability to take those things out, do we actually take the opportunity to put the things back? Because if you don't, it's now becoming the responsibility of someone else. And sometimes it becomes a responsibility of someone else who can't put the weights back, who can actually lift that, and it becomes overwhelming to them, and they might not actually even have the ability to show up. And so I think that's why one of the reasons that it really bothers me is because um, sometimes I, you know, I see that in, in, in those gyms. And it's like, you know what, like I pay to go here and, and then, you know, like that's someone else's job to put this stuff, to clean up after me and to do this. But it, but it, when you do that, that becomes the culture and then it becomes harder to take care of uh, as a whole. And it, you know, it's, it's kind of like thinking like, Hey, like I, I want to take care of others. Um, but, and I want to take care of myself, but leaving the responsibility of others to clean up our mess. Sometimes, you know, leaves them in a situation where they can't, where they can't actually clean up that mess. And so it's just something I'm thinking about. It seems like a kind of a simple analogy, but I think there's a lot of things where this actually kind of pertains to. Uh, and I guess I was just kind of thinking about this, doing this the other day, um, and and just kind of set an example. I remember when I, I did this the other day, there's, there's a gentleman who never puts their weight back, and they saw me doing it. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything, but... I noticed that after they saw me doing it, they started doing it as well. And I think we sometimes get concerned that if, if we do that for somebody else, they're going to become uh, dependent. Like they'll say, well, that guy's going to do it for me. So why would he even put it back? But I noticed he actually started putting his, his uh, weights back in the right place. And so, yeah, okay, sometimes people let us down, even if we lead by example, Does it? but it still doesn't mean we don't actually try to model what we hope for in others. Thinking about that principle, you know, walking by thinking that garbage, even though they didn't do that, um, it does set a tone. And through our actions and through what we model, I think has the biggest impact. So it's just something I was thinking about. Um, and maybe there's some there's some analogy where you kind of think about how this pertains to your own life. But I think it sets a, a precedent. Like we want to achieve the goals. We want to take the things um, to utilize. Let's make sure that we leave the next part um, easier for the next people coming after. Cause a lot of times the next people are coming after our kids. And I think that's where that matters. So just some things I was thinking about. I, I hope it makes you think about something, but I hope you have a great week ahead. Thanks for all you do. Have a wonderful day. And thanks for listening again to my Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.